Hello folks and welcome to part 3 of our Minor Vern Explore. In this episode we start looking at the uh, some of the outbuildings separate from the big old slate sheds which we've been in part 2. So in this one we go and have a look at the old workshops with all the old lathes and everything in there and also the electric shop and uh, we also at the end of the video we uh, take a look at the uh, incline and all the equipment in there. So if you stick with us, uh, watch part one, part two if you haven't already, uh, and please enjoy. So uh, we're back in the old slate dressing workshops on an absolutely horrendous day. It is just horrendous outside. So I'm going to bring you in here. So last time I was up here, if you've not watched my Minor Fern, Minor Fern 2000, uh, my Minor Fern update, works update, have a quick look at that on my other videos. I might put a link in the description. Have a look at that. I, I chatted to one of the workers here and he just explained to me what they were doing here. But I'm here today with Adam. We're on a little bit of a last minute explore day we're going down the mine yet again to film some more stuff we we've well we're always trying to i've looked at other videos we've missed 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 stuff again <laughs> always missing stuff we felt always. we need to record so but adam we just thought we'd stop in here five minutes and just have a look at the uh, shed so let me bring you guys in i'll just turn the camera around uh, so yeah let's uh have a quick wonder down here yeah, this is probably not the wisest place to be in a windy day like this with uh, the weather, but I'll bring you guys in here now. So they've got a bit of Harris. I'll just go under here. I did, I have filmed under here, but I'll just put They've got a bit of Harris here where they still haven't pulled out all the asbestos sheeting. I've just got this in here to stop you from wandering under there. But uh, as that fella said, I think the winter, winter and Christmas period had come in and just shut them down basically. But yeah, they've taken most of it off, stacked it all in the a big pile down the end there, which we'll have a look in a minute. And uh, that's looking back that way. So last time we were here, this was just all full of debris and junk, which it still kind of is, but they've cleared it and put most of it to the sides, like the old rails and bits of equipment that were still here. There's the old sand saw there, to the left. It's all gears, I think. Yeah. Obviously from steam power days, so you reckon? reduce the speed of the engine down to drive the mill. Either Probably down underground. the um, winder. Yeah. That's definitely off a winder, the big yeah. sort of Citroen badge shaped gear too. And motor casing as well. It's weird, every time we come up here we find stuff, we, oh yeah, there's a piece of that roofing material, look. So this is what they're removing. They're about their asbestos sheets. I find it interesting, so. we have the floor here, some canal and shish site. This is in the roof. Wow, so that looks like it's come down it. fairly <laughs> recently. Oh yeah, look at that piece there, just waiting. The whole roof is lifting up when the wind goes. Yeah, well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's go in there and get out of the way because <laughs> if any of this comes down, people, it's just going to knock you in half, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, they've been in here with the machine as well because there's, uh, there's um, 
machine marks in here. They got like a little, what do you call it with the tele handle? That's it, a small tele handle. Yeah, so. It's nice to see something being done for it. Well, it's just taking the roof off. Yeah. But I can't see how it's going to make anything any worse now because it's, they've got to well, do something now, haven't they? They have, yeah. To do that. But yeah, folks, so it was. So, so the first phase, in case you didn't know on the video, was, was taking that roof off and putting a replacement roof on that metalwork. And then the second phase, I think the guy said, was starting to patch up the roof um, and just basically making the roof sound. So like the supports down there, which are falling apart, the aqua props, and then um, working on it from there, basically. But uh, yeah, you'll see from part two, we walk around this place. Uh, I'll put this on whichever part video this is going to be on, I don't know. But I'll put this bit of footage on one of our next videos that come in, which you, hopefully you'll see. Sorry it's a bit dark, it is uh, it is horrendous outside. But uh, it's uh, a lovely, a lovely day. It's I mean, welcome for us today. To yeah, moment. yeah, it's what you kind of, kind of have to expect up here, unfortunately. There's a fairly modern charger there or something, I don't even notice that before. And just that thing there, circuit board on it. Every time we come here, people, we've probably been up here this year probably about 10 times plus. You know, you just you just find stuff each time you, you think you're not seen, and you know, it's just there's always something new to see, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you've not seen our uh, Mind of Earn part uh, 2002 video, have a look at that where um, where Adam does some footage on a little wagon where he runs the wagon down these tracks from an old wagon, slate wagon down there in 2002 and you've got filing cabinets and stuff here there used to be a building here all the windows were intact in the roof they hadn't been smashed out by the uh, thieves nicking the lead from around the windows uh, yeah yeah you unfortunately got all the idiots smashing the place up but that's just the way it goes isn't it People have nothing better to do. They're not going to recite it, they're just going to repair it. Oh, yes, yeah, so, oh, they are, folks. So, I mean, that roof would practically fall off anyway, it's Adam. So, bad, yeah, you can see it, see up there, folks. It's just my finger. But <laughs> you can see up there, that whole roof up there is just completely collapsed. But you can see they tidied it up and pushed it all to one side over there. Took all the rails out as well. Some of the bits of asbestos paneling in there. Some of the um, railway lines have been moved out of there too. There's quite a lot of uh, interesting track work in there. Unless it's all just yeah, smacking yeah. Got a bit of Harris over there. Look, yeah. they don't they don't want anyone in that part of the shed at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, there, no. No. Cut them short. They're obviously going to fly joint these, aren't they? I don't think they'll be notching them or that. They'll probably just put a timber beside it and bolt it through or something, just to extend it down. Yeah. They've, they've, it looks like a bit neater, doesn't it? Have they actually sawed the edges of those off? They yeah, have, haven't they? Yeah, I've cut them. So it's, it's hopeful, folks. They're doing stuff to it. It's, it's never going to get the repair work it, you you would have got on the built place, but it's better than nothing. Some of the slates may be uh, able to be re oh god, always place to stand here. Some of the slates might be able to be, they might be able to reuse. Um, well, I'm guessing because this place has, um, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, watch one of my other videos for a little bit of a rant, the rant about the belt that's come off these, uh, these old line shafts, look. Yeah, uh, it's I did so think upsetting. of bringing a belt joiner with me and putting it on this. But what I didn't realise, when I looked at a video, if you look at the video, somebody put the belt on here, because back in the 2002 footage, sorry, no, the early this year footage I did, that belt is not on there. Can you see that, folks? Yeah, that, that wasn't on there. Someone's put that back on. Oh, wow, this, this wall here has come down, look, since we were last year. Or someone's kicked it over. That wasn't there. That wasn't like that. Yeah, we, we still think somebody somebody yanked this. Because it's not broken on a joint. The joint in the belt is halfway down here, look. There's the joint in the belt, look, the splice. Or maybe it's just a crack, I don't know. No, I'm not an expert. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe it has just naturally collapsed off it. Who knows? Either way, it's sad to see it like that. So, yeah. Lunch area hasn't been disturbed yet. Then we still have lunch here. Looking <laughs> a bit wet today, though. Yeah, maybe not. 
maybe try and have lunch in the uh, canteen that we <laughs> the little shed canteen further around the building yeah oh we can't get out down here they put a bit of harris on yeah yeah oh. <laughs> i've got all rubbish in here now yeah Nice doors on them. Yep, doors still on, folks. <coughs> it comes up in uh, in our video part two if you've not already watched it. Um, it stick it back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I just, just, a, bit, just a bit dark in here. <laughs> It'll probably go in the Footage. bin, won't it? So it's nice to see it back yeah. on. Yeah. But after all, Yeah, folks have just been through here and moved it, look. So there's the old way bridge over there. So this is where they've been putting all the asbestos sheeting and stuff. No. no it's yeah. Yeah, if you look back at that video we were saying about before people, it's uh Adam comes through here on a little trolley, comes along these tracks which are all still here, and then goes that's the portal. That's the portal there, you see where the way bridge equipment is over here. So long as it's all asbestos, it's all damp in it, so it ain't gonna get you at the moment, but see that way bridge there, you just see it. This is where the portal moving the mic that's where the portal was once upon a time people yeah i suspect all these terrace fencing and stuff's all just blown down in the wind to be honest yeah i come here on a couple of weeks ago it's all snowy up here and icy i only went as far as here i didn't go any further because they were moving the telly handle around emptying out all the, these pieces look so these are all what they've taken out so it's like an asbestos corrugated sheeting type stuff Interesting, eh? me and my brother, he's off looking at something else around here at the moment. We were here 20, 20, 23, 24 years ago, and it looked a lot different then. So, in the last couple of months, they've had a loader up here. You know, the sheds there. We were just had our lunch on the sawmills up there. Just been around in there earlier on, just having a quick look around. This is the portal. So a short tunnel which basically goes underground goes around under there only for about 30 meters and then it opens up into an opening the other side of this hill and then we've got the inclined shafts going down into some of the biggest underground slate quarry workings in the, certainly in the uk and wales nothing else comes close to broad no idea well, i should imagine it's probably one of the biggest in the world but i'll have to check that out but yeah, a couple of months ago they went and put this here. There used to just be a bit of Harris fencing at uh, an effort to stop the kids and people getting in there, screwing it up. This is what they've done. See, it's definitely still water coming from under it, look. The gimbal doesn't want to, uh, to go the wrong road. Yeah, you see water dripping from there so yeah that i don't know maybe two three months ago four months ago that got piled up that wasn't there but uh here we go oh god there's some horrendous weather looking over there let's see if we can get a walk around here before the weather gets too bad it's an easy way down anyway we came up the hard way but the way down is really easy I think Adam's not here at the moment, but I think he was telling me that this little room, the little uh, tea room. <laughs> so you've got one of them old fannies on the wall there, look. There's bits of junk. Oh, oh isn't that plaster in it, look. <laughs> Remains of a weighing machine there, look. To weigh stuff. Very cool. Not really much else to see in here, to be honest. You know, all those wheels are maybe for those blade cutting machines that we were talking about earlier on. There's an old window there, cast iron window. Let's start by walking through this side, eh? Hey? <laughs> Train tracks in here. Got 
Like some old spare bars and things. Pretty cool spot. <laughs> this in here. An old workbench. I don't know what that is. Falling apart, probably a heater. Oh, to BT socket, <laughs> the headphones, and the very rotten fluorescent light fitting. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, look at that <laughs> fluorescent light fit, it's just rotted in half. <laughs> spare parts, probably, spare parts store. Front panel off, something there. Oh, there's still lots of bits and pieces in here, look. Cool. It looks like some sort of charger. Got the uh, selenium rectifiers in them. You don't see them very often. Basically, just turn your AC current to DC with an early battery charger or something. Selenium, I think that's what they're called. I can't remember. I used to see them in a lot of old electronics. That's pretty cool. Oh, one ton lift, forklift truss tyre, seen better days, a yeah, reservoir, got a piece of slope there, mm. uh, there's some sort of insulator box, a place to sit, oh yeah look at the heater up there. <laughs> That's probably a heater as well. Looking at it, 70s heater. So we'll crack it up in the wire like this. Old motor, how much here? What's left of it? But those uh, sanitation dispensers or something <laughs> from way back when. Oh, this is pretty cool. A little workshop. A graffiti everywhere. Just see if I can make sure I'm not treading on it. Dave 1978. I07. I always find stuff like this quite interesting. Chunk. Well, I hope that's not Adam. Well, let's face it, it probably is. I'm going through sorts of crap in here. Motor guards. It's all little mills and stuff, look. Some big old belts down there, another little winch up there. I'll throw some light that hasn't fallen down yet. <laughs> Fan eater. <laughs> Don't know what that is, a motor or something there. Transformers over there in that box, switch gear. Wow, look at this thing here. Oh. Look at that there. An early, early switch box of some description. A torch in front would help. Oh. Very, very cool. Much more modern electrics. Axle box off a trolley, probably. Uh, very cool. Right. <laughs> Hello, people. We're back again. Yet another explore at Minor Vern. This is the. Good day outside. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're taking refuge in one of the workshops instead of the big slate shed today because, uh, well, we can't go to slate shed because where we normally sit is covered in water. So we're inside the workshop. Let's just show you where we are. We've already been up here, so uh, I'll, I'll add this on to the video later on, but we're in the little work area with a bench. 
we even tidied it up for future explorers. We uh, yeah, we moved nice. we moved this from down there, pushed that there, and look, we even brushed the floor. <laughs> But somewhere, somewhere dry to sit down for five minutes. The Wellington boot was the brush. The Wellington boot was the sideways. brush, yeah. <laughs> so we're just having a quick, quick Pan brew, Pan Ed, before we descend into the depths of the mine. This will be our third visit down. Yeah. Yeah, our third visit down the mine today. There's a load more workings we, we didn't explore last time we were down because we were running out of torch power. We wanted to get as much light in those cabins with the high power torches we got. But after filling about eight to 10 cabins with light, the rest of them were the lower levels. We ran out, the power of the torches just depleted. depleted. So we ran out of power. So we've got another big torch for today as well as my big, big uh, light torch. Industrial. Industrial. Uh, we're gonna try and flood as many with light as we can so we can get as much, just get the quality of the image as good as I can get it with this camera. Um, yeah, we're gonna, and uh, there's some passageways uh, which we just didn't get a chance to go down, so hopefully get the rest of it. We'll probably never see all of it. No I don't think you could ever, well, there's only a few people, you, you know a few people that have been down there yeah. that have seen it all. Yeah, but we're gonna see as much as we can, but again, like every bond, you know, we've both got full-time jobs, time's always against us. It's the, the early part of 2023 at the moment, so we've both got a little bit of time later on this year. I'm probably going to be too busy again, but we really enjoyed what we've seen so far, and hopefully we will get up here to do a bit more if we don't get to see it today, eh? Yeah. That's one of them, isn't yeah, it? Right. Yeah, so... Just hope the calibration of all this is going to be worth your eyes watching. It's going to be long <laughs> as hell, but it's, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a few episodes, isn't it? It's you, going to be a yeah. few. If you're interested but, like us, you'll be fine. Yeah. Again, we're doing this because we, we're trying to get all the technical and the sort of look at a lot more in depth of the stuff down there where, you know, there's no offense to everyone else that goes down there. I really enjoyed watching other people's footage of down there. Absolutely. And probably much better footage than I'm able to capture <laughs> in my a pocket camera. But but still, we, we're kind of looking at the, um, the details. You know a load about it because you've got an interest in it. Um, just, you know, being able to explain what a lot of stuff is down there, you know, in, in better detail, uh, I think. If is, you're interested, yeah. it'll you all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, this is it. It's why we're doing it. It interests me, but I know I'm the exception to the rule. We both are with the interest in this, this crazy old stuff, but hopefully other people will find it interesting and watch God knows how many hours of footage we put up if I do put it all up. <laughs> so at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, there's over, there's almost a terabyte's worth of footage of us going around all these, the Votti and Boyd and the Minor Vern Quarry and, and Diffwish, uh, done a little bit of Diffwish Quarry, haven't we? So we've done a bit on there and um, yeah. And friend Matt was with us on that one. Matt was with us on that, yeah. Yeah, he, he couldn't come today, unfortunately, so uh, I don't think you would have liked the, oh, the climate. Yeah. Underground. <laughs> underground, dark dark places, yeah. You don't want to meet his mate, no. Batman. No, no. You brewed up. I'm done, just got to take me out and to drink it because it's so hot. <laughs> it's hot. Right, with that said, I'm going to put this away and I have a quick, quick a cup of tea myself. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. We've already filmed in here, but we'll uh, bring you folks in to have a bit more. So much cool work stuff, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's two um, it's big old uh, water pumps here, look. I think they're so cool. They probably got down in the bottom of the mine for the walking. Let's see. Just moving water around very slowly, but. Still got the motor on it. For hours, I suppose. Yeah. This one here's still got the plate on it, look. Yeah, it's on your fucking neck now. Yeah. Because it made a brass! Alright, focus it on there for you people. There you go. I think it's manual on this camera, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is the bit me and Adam both like. This old controller here, look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know what Adam's up to over there. Well, this is interesting. It's not the machine one, but it's got a... Look at that. this here. Anderson Price, I'll take it off the floor. Little cables in there, look at that. Now, <laughs> cool as that, these big pieces. Big light there, look. Except on the old cross 
silver. Still got all the old uh, tobacco packets in there with no health warning on. <laughs> yeah. Hanging them on the wall for people to see. That is super cool. I absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah. The stuff in here, folks. I'm thinking of putting some insulation here and the copper cable going up. That's all been banged up. Well, cable goes off. in. I don't know. It's like there was a nut there, but. Uh, Breaking that, that sort yeah. of stuff. It's just all sorts of stuff in here. I don't know how it is. You can see it is all. Related. All electrical relays, contactors. We came up here about six months, people, and uh, this place was just like a bomb hit it. And what we did, we, oh, uh, did. <laughs> what we did was this was on the floor. We put this upright and we moved these boxes so there's like an area to sit over here. And when we come up here, it, it's, if it's, it's horrible outside, so we come in here, but you need to light the place up, have somewhere to eat. Um, cool, yeah, have somewhere to eat in here, yeah. chill out, keep warm. But yeah, this place is full of full of artifacts. So I mean, if any of you do watch our videos and come up here, it's a lovely, it's a really cool place to come and see some old, <laughs> yeah, old electrical stuff basically. Yeah. That's Adam's, uh, that's Adam's lunch. <laughs> An old bell in there, little bell in between hob. <laughs> Bits and bobs in here, look. That's actually an old resistor, isn't it? This. What's that? Oh yeah, an old resistor, that's it, yeah. wires in it, look. This thing obviously smashed up, but that is cool. Look at all those. Yeah. Four bank resistor. See what I just sat there with some sort of cowling around it on a wharf or something. <laughs> Might have been a small fan motor, I don't know. It's all DC. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Numbers on it, manufacturer numbers. Loads of stuff. Got that up there as well, look. Oh, wrong way. Loco Chevy. Look. This is a charging station or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Blowing out, man. Oh, oh, there we are. <laughs> wire, wire saw guides and that in here. These white clips you see all the foot. Must be something to do with wire saw. They want the XU poison now. Because I've seen all that nylon pole cord running for these. Oh, down the incline. Yeah, screwed in everywhere. Yeah, so obviously, guided yeah. the, the, um, the cord. Whatever it's made of. The other thing is in here, folks, is um, you've got like an overhead. Crane look. The roof in here is really cool. They got the big old pine beams again there, look. Let's just bring you in focus. <laughs> focus it in. <laughs> then again you got up there, look. The fluorescent lights, some cabling still in there, look, the dickheads haven't had that yet. But there you can see up there there's all the old old pulley. What about a shackle on the end of? And the other cool thing in here is some people like it, some people don't, but you got some really old graffiti in here. Some super old graffiti. Some of it is, some of it's cool. Some of it isn't. <laughs> That's obviously original. Some of that there, I think. Oh. Of all places, I just stood there and got a massive drip top. <laughs> right under a dripper, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me just see what I'm just running the ASO down a bit. There we go, and then we'll put the iris a bit more on this bit. People's old uh, graffiti, a little table or something going on here. Forklift tire. <laughs> well, if you don't go in here because the camera's going to get absolutely soaking if I go out there. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> but we've been out there before, filmed all that. I just thought it'd be cool to film this again because I don't think it had the settings right on my old camera at that point. I was using the pocket. I think. All the tops of the batteries. Look at that. For the link batteries, the locos. It's a brand new one. Uh, it's the only one I found in here, but also you stick that on there, also you get the solder gun on it and melt it. Uh, the link between these the cells here, look, see behind you. They're linking together. Oh, not correct what I'm doing here, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Same yeah. link them all up. See, yeah, everyone's into battery fork trucks and that. And these are old and too, so that's Manchester. Really old battery cell, positive. <laughs> it's obviously positive to negative, positive, negative to get the, the required voltage, so. Probably next time we come. <laughs> Two worth of yeah, yeah. Pikey's have had it all. This is really intriguing. This, this casting in the time, time to repair that. Obviously, the weld it has gone wrong. The casting must be. Oh, well, that's it, yeah. I put a break. It's got a big, big yeah, crack a, in it. Is it off a lever? <laughs> it's all gone here. Look, they put a steel base on it. 
It's obviously never got refitted. It's a piece of important machinery, isn't it? The weld, you see the weld on the inside of it. Just a simple thing I worked on. Got the weld on that there. Yeah, it's quite a key. the wrong stuff. Yeah. They powder weld stuff like that, don't they? No, it's a hell of a. See the repair? You stain this rod to try and get it to us. The metal's been wrong. Yeah. They've done all here, look. No. Do you reckon that is off then? Off a lathe? A piece for a lathe? No, no, it looks like a big machine. Go look at that there. It's all fractured because it's cooled down too fast, it's all cracked. <laughs> it's a silver yeah. way of doing it, stain this, wouldn't it? God knows what carbon content this is because it's probably locally made or. Yeah, yeah. These are interesting on the floor, you got these, These are all needle roll there now. Like an actual box, you see these? I'm knackered now, but different lengths. Got the old wagons, late, later wagons had the needle roll axle boxes in. <laughs> Obviously, I'd spared here. I'm gonna go too far to the left here because I'm gonna get dripped on again. I'm gonna get dripped on. <laughs> old, old, old here, look at that. I love this, I think it's so cool, this old speed controller. You obviously turn a handle here and it speeds it up like you're getting the old welders. It's just it's, it's so it's smart, crazy, isn't it? It's so nice to see one, I'm fairly complete. Damaged, Good to take photos here with the uh, old lights. So, with that said, folks, I'm just going to turn this off a minute and uh, get a photo. Right, this next bit is the electrical room. Just look at this. This is this is incredible. So, what I do remember is some big incomings here. Look. All oh, copper, everything's all gone. Well, I do remember about 20 plus years ago we were here. Is when that was when we were here, and I remember looking through these windows. These are all intact. And these can be DC to DC converters. I'll explain about that in a second, but uh, couldn't see in this bit. I didn't know any of this was here apart from some very early photos I've seen, but I just can't find out where I saw it all. So. Incredible. <laughs> but look at these old panels, slate panels. Slate's a really good insulator. And in the early 1900s, that's all I had. Look at that. Got it. Should really wear this port torch to be honest with you, but it's kind of just picked it up quickly. Look at the thickness of that. All gone. In 20 years, it's only isolators at the top there, look. Porcelain isolators. And again there. Wow. Well, see another big cable there coming in. Distribution box. Right, so there it's again. God, it must have been a lattice work of wiring flooring around in here. <laughs> wow. Yes. This is incredible how, how beat up this place is. I remember when we were looking through these windows, all this was it was intact. There was a big panel here, I'm sure there was. So there is a panel in there. And these are all covered in plastic to protect them, presumably. Look at the size of that thing. Can't move it. and went down there. Coke cans and crap. Yeah, so what were these things did? Basically it's a motor that generated power. AC power used to come into the building and DC power come out because a lot of the only machinery in these places is all DC operated. So that's my understanding of it all anyway. It came from a power station a couple of miles from here, I cannot remember the name of it. I'll probably put that in the in the information. Kaidir, Kaidir, I can't remember. 
we come from there, I think it's 10,000 volts AC from a hydroelectric power station. And looking at the age of this transformer here, this is probably where it came to. All this isolating stuff in here, look. Very cool. All this here, 10,000 volts in, into this huge transformer. Yeah, all the copper gone. Still quite interesting to look at though. This would have been full of copper coils on those big, those big internal cores full of oil to the almost, well it would have been full to the top. The purpose of these tubes is to cool the oil because they get warm depending on how hard they're working. And then it convert it down to whatever voltage those rotary converters needed. Those rotary converters will spin away and the second set of windings on them Wow, is that an old transformer? An old capacitor bank? Christ, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Maybe a transformer. And yeah, and then those rotary converters would convert the power to to DC for a lot of the old mine motors and stuff. If they didn't have any way of rectifying the AC, well they did, they had mercury rectifiers, but that was the reason why they didn't use them up here. Well, quite see is there a top on it oh yeah there we go it was a transformer Let's see in there oh there you go it was a transformer very old transformer jeez look at that riveted all the panels look out of it wow that's really really old transformer good god <laughs> wow never seen anything like that before yeah, the switch gear is really old, super, super old stuff. This, yeah, why right, uh, This might be a more modern one. I say modern, probably still bloody ancient. <laughs> so, yeah, this one might have still been in action. Who knows? Yeah, just thrown all the stuff out of it. Uh, there's still windings there, look. What's that? Can't quite see what that is. Just windings or something, I don't know. I don't know. Mumbling. Oh. I haven't pulled that out before. God knows what that was. Still bits left. I mean, just to think that the 20 so years ago we were here, this was, wasn't generating, but the AC side of it was definitely switched on. Because we could see some lights and stuff on in here through the windows. As I say, these are all intact, they're all in one piece with covers over them. Just look at the state of the place now. Gosh. Gosh. It's the way it goes. If we do get a chance to look in the mine, there's a few examples of the electrics down there I seem to remember from all that time ago, which had which was applied by the DC power, which is why they kept a lot of this in action. There you go, rotary voltage one, powerhouse voltage, rotary voltage two. It's just a shame. Rotary power breaker. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the winding motor for the incline, which is now blocked off so you can't get down it, well, you, you can climb over, but you can't get through that portal. The motor in there is still DC. It's a shame we couldn't get in there today to explain to you how that worked, but to my knowledge, that's why these were still used in the 70s, maybe the 80s, and Adam will say, I think maybe a bit later as well, but maybe I might put a link in there on how these things worked so you can understand it, but yeah, there ain't much left of them now. Oh, that wasn't there. Anyway, that's the powerhouse. Pretty cool, eh? All right, let's go out powerhouse into one of the workshops. It's out there. We reckon these blocks of slate here, which kind of go round all the way along, they're kind of all in a line. Must have carried the trough for the water wheel because 
the other side of all these buildings, oh right, well, the other side of all these over there, there's a waterfall, and quite a large waterfall over there, so taking the water to the water wheel, that's how they used to do it in the old days. Well, look at this. Oh. Look at this lathe still here. Wow, what <laughs> a starter motor. <laughs> no, dynamo, dynamo. Jeez, look at this. It's all dislodged. Belt driven. Lathe, someone again, they've nicked all the bearings out. <laughs> oh, these people go for all this trouble. I suppose it's free, isn't it? Nobody cares anymore, looking at all this stuff. Such a shame. Drill press, it's your big drill press, I think. <laughs> Gosh knows. Don't know what that machine is. No idea. It's all coming in. It was all this shut up when we were up here? I can't really remember. I think all of these places are locked up, weren't they? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's a flame for a boom. <laughs> wow, look how it's just rotted away. Paraffin heater in it. Well, flame this, heater. This is the stove I used to come and light and so on. It was the only place you could come and get warming up here, and now someone's destroyed it. Well, little bell ends. The old uh, Arctic stove. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a pan for the ash. Christ. A little sort of hideaway shed to warm up when you're doing your work up here. This old rope ladder that's fallen to pieces. Well, yeah. We're on limited time now, so we'll get some film some of this and then I'll make our way down. Then we'll have to come back and do the underground bit another day. Shafts running through here. One this side, and there's one up over there. Look, very cool. <laughs> look at this full of water. This thing. Wow. Just <laughs> rock out. That is. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Okay, it's such a shame the roofs all come in. Well, I suppose 20 plus years is a few old years ago. You can say all this place was locked up tight. I wish I remembered more about it. Fortunately, Adam took photos, I didn't. Kind of a bit late with all this technology now, to so sort of keep an eye, show it how it is now. Wish I could have shown it how it was then. A lot of this is natural decay and then some of it is just dickheads coming along and smashing it all to pieces, isn't it? Uh, looks like played. <laughs> yeah, another motor arm to look. Probably sat on there, used to drive this maybe. Yeah, probably need a bit of power to do that. <laughs> look at all the holes in that. Look at that vice there. Wow. That's a workbench and a half, that is. From memory, one of these places here is a blacksmith. Uh, a little house there. I bet you that used to cover that motor over there. You see, winterized everything up here way back in the day. Stop the weather from getting at it. Look here, it's the blacksmith shop. Look at these uh, air blowing pipes or something, I don't know. Yeah, these had fan motors on here, didn't they, to uh, blow air into the uh, into the fires. The blacksmith's tools. Look at all this, is it drill bits, pop rivets? All these shelves still stacked with stuff, rusting away. Give it to it. More stuff here, look. <laughs> wow. No 
little storeroom or snug to keep warm. If you want to keep warm, perhaps. Yeah, the power is definitely on here because I think you can't see it anymore out there because they filled in all the all the site. But just about the site was still pumping out the underground section which used to be two huge pipes outside sort of going into the river out there two huge pipes which came from the mine which were uh, bringing water up presumably let's stake that wheel up there <laughs> rot <laughs> I don't know what that is drill sharpener perhaps those sort of things here for the drills down the, down the mine Blacksmith table yeah, the guards just falling down. Still got the spare parts. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> roof's all but gone on this one. All gone. Such a shame. Sighted when I was always here. Never got any pictures of this bit. It's a shame we haven't got much in the way of uh, sunshine today, but uh, it is what it is. But we're at the above, above the old uh, four lane incline going down into the abyss, which is down there. Unfortunately, you just can't see because of the mist. But uh, couldn't come through the tunnel because it's blocked up. But there is a way to access it from that way if you do it safely. This is a winding shed, so, so me and my brother came here as I've probably said multiple times over 20 years ago and you could just walk in this place and it was all intact but uh, you can't get in here now it's pretty shut up but there is a hole here which I found so this is as far as we can get but what I thought might be interesting to show is you can just see in here this is where the motor was there just turn the torch down a bit so you can just see over there so I'm showing the torch over there just bring it down a bit. There we go. Over there is, uh, you can just see the motor standing up. That was all intact when we were here. None of this was here. None of that was all messed up down there, look. This was all written neat and tidy. And there used to be a box. You can still see the box over there. And there was a little heater inside that motor, keeping it warm. It was all covered in plastic. So you walk for that door there. And that's where the uh, winding gear is in there and that motor used to drive the shafts, which would uh, drive the drums for the incline. Big DC motor, you can just see the back of it. It was all pretty much mint, that was just over, well it'd be about 22 years ago, 22 years ago-ish. It's, it's a shame we can't get in there, but I have got some photos we took, well Adam took, but I uh, thought that'd be interesting to show. That's about as close as we can get in there, because if we go down here now, I'll show you a bit of the head of the incline. This is uh, this is where we are. It's the famous uh, emergency stop there. Stop the trucks from going down. And then you see they've they've protected all this building with uh, polythene. You, you, you could get in there through probably climbing through there, but it's a shame because I think people have just trashed it. Yeah, it's the way it goes. Cutting the sheeting on the roof with a knife. Well, yeah, I say we're here, but just around the corner they've cut the sheeting with a knife, which is a shame. But we're saying before this was electrified in the uh, early 1900s, it was steam powered. Had everyone saying this obviously would have been the flue for the boilers and the engine would have been in that side. Or well, we think it might have been here because looking in here, you can see the base of probably where it would have been a big old Lancashire style boiler because of the trough down there. There's like a, an indent in the ground. But it's difficult to say, there's not really any pictures of it, is there? No, there's one photo of it in steam days taken from over there. It's yeah. Two, but I have to find out who the copyright is for you to use it. Yeah. But it's a fantastic photo of all four tracks and stuff yeah. coming out the roof of the building. <laughs> yeah. I say it's just a shame visibility sucks. <laughs> Always another day. Yeah. So, uh, Adam, 
it said there used to be two boilers in here and here we think might have been a compressor but then you can see there I'll bring you guys up you can see one of our videos the two chimneys there's a chain now look I didn't see that before it was one James it went across in a flue horizontal then up the top one for at the height yeah and there was a steel chimney on top of that for more draft the draft yeah to bring the to put to draw the fire folks there's two um, Cornish boilers in there and the third one over the other side so obviously they had to run rotation when they used them so cool. I was wanting to wash out or repair while the others were in use one standby. All the look junk at this, in here. it's all. It's a bit of an old fireplace in there, look. Cast fireplace by the looks of it. And the old pot belly stove in it. Pot belly stove, yeah. What a bit inside here. So this we've already been in here, folks. You'll see that on the video in a minute. Corner of doom. Uh, There's a bit you have to squeeze through. Yeah, that's right. When we this first came up here back in January last year, <coughs> in 2023, Hadn't been this, this, this still had the corner of the building on. So people have picked away at it to get in, and this is now how people have been getting in. Um, yeah. No comment. No comment, yeah. It wasn't us, so we don't mean that was us, folks. It definitely wasn't us. It's been spray painted as well, James. But as usual, people have done it, which also means it's... Uh... Oh God, I'm going to get... I'm thinking... <laughs> it's stuck. Should have handed you the camera. <laughs> Sorry, James. Just look Sorry. at the uh, spray paint initial <laughs> one here, look. Well, those idiots. Sorry, folks. Just a bit of a manoeuvre to get in. Yeah, the sheet's all coming off now, isn't it? Because I've, I've buggered the corner up. It's all pulling to pieces. The wagon yeah. tarp pulling. So, folks, this is the the railway tracks going in through here. Look, they go underneath this. There's a switch track here. One track went that way, and the other track went that way. This it, is the last uh, line in use, this one here, look. Yeah, in the middle one, yeah. So it was a triple track originally. Four tracks, I think, they started with, then went to three, and then obviously towards the end went to two, and then yeah. just the last one, which has been playing line through all the points here, straight to the mill. This turnout was still in use, but um, where it was at the end, I don't know. <laughs> we always call this the way off. I, I think it was once until they got the new one down here, on the other side of this uh, short tunnel in action. Oh, of course, it's either looking worse for wear now. Yeah. Cool little glamping pod that would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what we might be having you. Might be using it for in the future. <laughs> you get you get a, a bed now, wouldn't you? Looking a bit worse for wear than when you filmed it back in 2002, isn't it? Just had the window and that and it in the door. Then yeah. you could go in there, shut the door, and be cosy. <laughs> yeah. Out the weather. I remember all, right. all this. You could see all the rails and everything, all the point gear. It used to work this, I don't know if it does anymore. Now the linkage is now broken, look. Belt will come undone. Used to operate the, the point blades here for the loop. Yes, so. Jesus, the state of the rails. It's where the wagon came off here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the buckets from inside the, um, the powerhouse, in the winch house, sorry. It's, uh, yeah, they've used it to carry the scrap copper out in, look. Didn't quite get this out without just armoured here. Yeah. Yeah, been burning the cable in here, look. Took the copper out and left all the lead cable in. Lead? Yeah. Weird, isn't it? All. Lead's worth more than copper these days. Yeah, folks. You don't watch our video for pinching lead, but whatever. <laughs> They've obviously deemed the copper more worthwhile, which it probably is, eh? I don't know. Well, okay, so this, this is the old mill tunnel. This is blocked up the other end, so you can't get through here anymore, people. Uh, on my video there's a wagon in here with a cable drum on it yeah. on this top line right folks we did get into the engine house just so we know that's where we got in that corner other people have clearly been in here so we haven't broken in just want to make sure that we reach rise that there's a pallet there and this is the room, like the one underground, where it would have had those buckets. And this mechanism here would have lowered plates into those buckets, which were in turn speed up and slow down the motor and the hoist, which then lowered the, uh, the wagons and stuff down into the mine. I'm going to see if we can just clamber through there in a second. But you can see 
I mean, when we came here, I keep saying this, but when we came here all those years ago, the roof wasn't like this. This is all completely intact. And you can see they've had to go up preserving it, just trying to stop it from going any worse. Yeah, such a shame. But uh, apparently this would have been home to the steam engine that originally drove this uh, Winchester years ago, a long, long time ago. Would have been a big steam engine here, sitting on this plinth, which would have driven the drums. In the fireplace, just behind that wall. That's how stupid they are. Yeah. Use roofing slates for the fire. Yeah. Still some electrics in here. Look, some old uh, braided cable. Probably asbestos. Who knows? But yeah. But that's that mechanism there. Very cool. Way of speeding up and slowing down the motors or motor. Right, we're uh, we've just climbed through there, and we're in the uh, winding room, which uh, you'll see early on in the video. I'm outside, and we're uh, pointing into that room there where the motor and the equipment was to uh, spin these. This is exactly the same setup as underground. We've got these big drums. You have to mind the lighting, I haven't got my big light on, I've just got my head torch, but it should be enough. Adam's putting it all back together again. <laughs> I remember this, last time we were here, this little bike wheel running... What's that here for? This little bike wheel running off this big drum here, so this was the main drum. Speed regulator device, wasn't it? Something, yeah. Going on to some sort of cog or something. Pretty so strange yeah. what that was all about. Oh, I got a flat tire, oh. didn't it? Oh, I see, so that ran a chain around that, and then... You Very strange. Out of that look, you know what I mean? Come on, guys. Well, did that drive some up here? I don't know. There was a speedo dial on here, I remember it. This is quite sad to see this because when we were here, you know, these doors were all open, it was all intact, and you can see these window frames here. These are the old window frames. Can you see them? This. These all are glass in, you can see a bit of glass still there, look. Every one of these are glass in, and you have glass here. And you can see down, so right outside this window here is the incline going straight down. And these drums, the wire spooled underneath, they can still see the wire coming off that incline there. And just look through here, you can see the railway tracks underneath. Just get some light down there. See the train tracks underneath, so the carts would be pulled up and they'd pass under here, disconnect the wire from them, and then they'd push them off underneath this building. And there's the back there, and that tunnel goes underneath to the mills. And uh, yes, there's three drums on this. But uh, I think originally was was the four originally. It was always three. Yeah, fourth one here where I am now. I reconfigured it when I realised I didn't need all that. Yeah. I can't believe this, you yeah. know. So you can see this. We've got the various brakes. Got band brakes still on this drum here. Look, all these cables are spooled out because they're all down the incline now. But when we were here, they all still had the wire spooled on them. And this is the brake here. Still got some tape around it. These levers here on this shaft go through to that other room, which when you pull these levers, let's just get over here a bit. When you pull these levers down, they speed up the uh, motor. And these are the various brakes and then the clutches. So this bar here went over here that big dog clutch there and when it's engaged it then dry engage this shaft which is turning and this shaft would then when this is engaged engage the drum and the drum would then totally turn clockwise because the wire put spools on from underneath and then you can see this here the size of this giant gear that is one heck of a gear and then there's a smaller gear right over the corner there and then the motor was in that other room through there I'm going to see if we can squeeze through that little gap and see what's left of it. I don't think much. Not much, no, I think you're right, there won't be much. This looks like an old, uh, a very old electrical cabinet. Isolating booster house. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Amps 150. Is that open without falling off? Wow, look at that. The slate roof slate, everything is slate isolators. Slate isolators in there, look. Oh, 
completely obliterated for the metals. And these two are all getting soaked. Like it's an old uh, controls there. There is some. It's like an old bell. Yeah, that's an old bell. There would have been a bell on there. Probably some lamps to indicate when it's time to go and stop. That's got isolators. Again, the roof in here is not looking so healthy. Don't know what that little weird mechanism there is all about with a bike wheel on it. But uh, seeing a lot of the old lighting. Really interesting. And incidentally, look at the size of these timbers this is all mounted on. It's absolutely massive. Almost two foot wide, two foot square. Probably solid oak. Remember, all these used to work. All yeah. It were a long time we were in here, that's for sure. Wow, so they've dislodged those little gears over there to get the bearings out. Yeah, they haven't got the bearings out the bottom of these. <laughs> Good luck doing that. that yeah. Yeah. So there we are, people. The remains of a fluorescent light fit in. Oh, I'll see if I can squeeze through there, but I don't really think it looks too hopeful. Right, I'm well chuffed we got in here. So yes, last time we were here, we were up by that wall up there, and we were shining the torch in. We were really careful where I step here. This is, uh, feels okay, but I'm gonna be careful. That is the fourth drum. So we were talking in there in the winding house, there was a fourth drum. That was it. That's quite sad, there's the motor. The remains of it. You can see the drive gear. And then the, uh, I can't remember which commentator. I can't remember what bits of which. The field winding is a commentator, that's right. And then that sat in here. What you want? That's the back of the motor. Here he comes. Oh, the engine brake in here. I know. But look at this dry gear here. It's got like a wooden centre. Do you reckon that's to keep noise down? Or, oh, yeah, mind your fingers, it's covered in oil. Oh, Get no. Out. No, it's not. It's um, probably is. No, it'll deafen but I don't know why it's timber. Weird. It's definitely got metal bits on it. You can see them, but... It probably is no, it's definitely. Yeah. You think the noise this thing's going to make when it really gets going? Put some so, on that, then. So, me, I remember when we were... A lot younger, <laughs> coming through this door, walking in here. So you know this, this, this bit of wood that's behind Adam was over this. This motor was encased in a wooden box. And you see the top there. It was basically inside a wooden box and you could lift the lid and it was in there, intact, in mint condition. And look at the state of it now. And there was a little heater in there keeping it warm. I remember that. Because yeah, the whole of this mine at that point was mothballed. And, uh, well, yeah, hey, what's happened to it here. now? You could walk in here. That's probably one of the sides of the box, look. I was just saying, look, there's the old, there's the other drum down there, look. Can you see it? In two pieces. Oh, they took it off and stored it yeah. spares. So that's the fourth drum. Yeah, the it would have been in that area. Yeah, that's the centre commentator, isn't it? Just stripped it of all the copper and just chucked it down there out of the way. This ladder. <laughs> oh, and there's the other half of the, uh, the back case. The, ca the casing with the field bindings on it. Yeah, stripped all the copper, all the brushes, all everything off it. Up. Yeah, in all case, probably off that. Probably off that fourth drum. That's been there a while then, hasn't it? What a cool little building. But, uh, There's a crane to get the motor out. So that's how they've done it. Uh, uh, some of the dickheads probably be getting in through this hole here, we didn't see that before. But yeah, you can see it, they've just thrown off the back casing of the motor there, look. Still see the bearing in there. I mean, this was probably done a long time ago. I mean, look how it's battered. You can still see some of the insulation material on there, look. Would have had the copper winding, there, someone's had some spam. spam. Yeah, spam, 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 and spam. See the multi pipe not be up here. Oh, look at this, is a. Just noticed what I'm standing on here is a, an old. Uh, stretcher. Yeah, an old stretcher. Huh. Yeah, what a shame, eh? This big block of wood is on there, this gear was sitting on. Yeah, it's on a big band break. 
Again, loads of uh, secondary safeties to stop stuff from spinning away. They probably use this on descent. Yeah. Probably kept it in gear by using the or send it to keep the, the speed of the motor under control. That's one hefty motor, wasn't it? And the brass, the white metal bearing on that. Look, it's still in there. Is that what it is? A white metal bearing. Yeah. Well, I'll be pressed in. That's why they haven't got it out. Yeah, I bet they tried. Well, these steel, steel with white metal coating, so yeah. money in that one. Thieving buggers. Yeah, there you go. Some more of the old electrics here. It's probably the power supply for it. Isolator. It's one under there, look. Why have they just thrown this off here? To this big box. I don't get that. Copper gone. Around, you know. Wiring probably went out there and then onto these isolators and. Who knows where it went then to? Yeah, it's rebuilding time. Well, he's uh, pulling it back together bit by bit. Perfect. Yeah, we'll get there. Very cool, isn't it? I reckon it. Brass and I reckon that was to give that wheel some inertia, maybe, and that wood inside it. Not sure. Strange, isn't it? On the wind, it's jammed on something. Uh, if you've got no. idea what it was doing there. Yeah. Hope you enjoy getting your oh that's nice look at that nice little flip lid. Uh, yeah, back how it should be. Before the dickheads come and stripped it all apart. Well, I don't understand why it has to be thrown on the, the floor. Smallest amount of copper known to mankind. Yeah, I hope it's worth your while you're bearing. It keeps them happy, doesn't it? Oh there's a lock ring here, this is the uh, oil dipping link ring look, see it's got a clip on it. Oh and that sits inside Interlocks. that. And that's what Dan surround inside. It moves the oil around. Get the oil over the top of the bearing, like sort of underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same setup as underground, it's just above ground. Makes sense. That Big gear, isn't it? Equipment round, doesn't it? So I think the maintenance is right. Oh. It's in the gym plates, look. Yeah. It's underneath it to get the... Get it right. Right, let's... So uh, wind, get the white bearing set up. Let's make a move on out of here. Let's go back to the... Right folks, thank you so much for watching part 3. Please consider watching part 1 and part 2 for more of the original slate mill and some of the uh, more outside stuff that we've explored. So, in part 4 we will be starting our underground part of this uh, Minor Farron uh, explore. So if you can stick with us, please like and subscribe and um, look at some of our other videos if you like mine exploring and other things such as. Um, so yes, thank you very much, please enjoy.